I took like six hours to build the frame, not because it is hard to build, maybe a little, but it was because of the stop motion video that we have seen in the intro. So if you like it, please give a thumbs up, comment, and also please subscribe to this channel. I will appreciate it a lot. All right, let's jump straight to the parts that I'm going to be using for this build. First, the motors. The motors I'm going to be using is from iFlight, Zing, 1404 4600 kV motors. Flight controller, I'll be using the Beta FPV F4114S 20MAIO. And then the VDX, definitely, O3 is my choice. And also the ELRS receiver that we'll be using is gonna be from Radio Master RP1 V2. Yeah, right now I'm gonna speed up the whole video so that you don't need to go through these few hours with me. But I will stop whenever I face any problem so that you guys, the expert out there, can also comment on what else can I do in the future or my next build to avoid the particular mistake that I've done. And also for beginners alike, um, at least if you face the same trouble, you will know how to solve it. All right, guys, it is 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh, my camera died, so I'm using my phone instead. Take a look at the build. We did not run into any major problem except from the connector, which is too short. Uh, one is for the VTX to the flight controller and then another one is the XT30 connector which is also too short so um, I actually extended that myself and yeah it is almost done but I'm not too sure if, if I plug in now leave fried anything I'll leave it for tomorrow I need to get some sleep all right guys everything is clean up I'm ready to plug this on and see if we can listen to the do 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 <laughs> right, we've got light on the flight controller we've got lights on the O3A unit and we've got lights on the ELRS receiver as well I think we are good to go yes Finally, it is done. The fly fish for other VX3 is ready to read tomorrow. Yeah. What I did in beta flight earlier was changing the board orientation and also the motor direction. Uh, the rest is just the usual setup that you do when you get your quad. And uh, oh yeah, another thing is um, I did load the Superfly preset on this because I do not know how to do all this speed tuning and all. So, Loading a preset is the best option in Betaflight, especially when there are so many in there that you can have. So let's fit in the props and we are ready to fly. All right, guys, we have done it. My first build was up in the air, the Volado VX3. So I think this episode has been like, like running rather long. I do not know how many days I have been recording this from the first frame build to now. It has been like four days ago. So yeah, um, Let's end this here and maybe I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, uh, you guys will continue to follow this channel, subscribe to this channel and see how a beginner like myself improve along the way while making content for you guys to watch. Alright, 
So I'll see you guys. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. This thing flies so well that I forgot that I am a beginner. And Ha ha ha!